I have one meal a day. Provided my children have three, I'll have one meal if I'm lucky. This is the reality of poverty in the UK. Often invisible, always corrosive. Everyone said, don't cry in front of her, but it's very hard when you live in the same room. But what happens when COVID batters already struggling families? And what are we doing to turn the tide? Hello. We've been serving here since June 2020. Was born out of COVID, but we're seeing increased use of the food bank. Um, yesterday we did about, we had about 71 people and 26 of them were new who had, you know, weren't our regulars. And, um, and we gave up about 80, and we gave up about 87 bags of food, yeah. And, and what sort of people are your clients? Right, so we've got mainly, uh, well, immigrants, so we've got Bulgarians, we've got Turks, we've got English, we've got Asians, yes. so it's the whole mix we've got. Plenty of greens here, plenty of veg, so it's a wholesome meal. You know? I actually started volunteering during the first lockdown, so that would have been about either April or May. It was just a weird time. I didn't have to worry about work, and I just thought, what can I do? And there was a call for help, so I just answered it. Yes, yes, none of us are professionals. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure about the way. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're all, we're all amateurs, you know, but we enjoy cooking. All of us yeah, enjoy, yeah, cooking. enjoy cooking. So, um, so we so just sort of try and talent. extend it. Yeah, we are using our talents. Yeah. Okay. We want them to have a good, to enjoy the meal and to have the, all the goodness in the food, you know? So we're having Chinese today because our Mauritian contingent are cooking and they sort of always like to bring a, a different... Uh, flavour or variety to it, so. Well, if there's a need for it to continue to exist, then I would like us as an organisation to continue to do what we can to help people in the area.